Well, nearly a week after a boat washed ashore in Ocean Park, Washington, it remained stuck sitting in the sand. The owner, who has stayed with the boat, says while he's been hoping to get back in the water, Mother Nature has not given him an opportunity just yet. Fox 12's Jeffrey Lindblom joins us live now from Long Beach with this remarkable story. Jeffrey? Michael Bonomi says he was trying to get away from the world when he got on his boat last week. However, he says when he wound up aground, he ran into a community that refused to let him go through it alone. One of those very community members took us out to meet him. Traversing the terrain, we'd find out why Long Beach got its name as we were taken 10 miles north of the downtown area to Ocean Park. And on a beautiful day, we'd eventually run into Michael Bonomi and his boat, which have both been stuck here since Friday afternoon. But it's not a bad situation because I'm on a beach, the weather's nice, it just turned into a blessing. This is what Bonomi calls his bug out boat. It's got several chickens inside, here's one of them, and it's also got solar panels and everything else he says he would need. After trying the vessel out numerous times on lakes and rivers, he took it into the ocean for the first time last week. I decided to take the risk and just, you know, see how, how good the boat handles. But he says conditions were getting bad, and he was in the midst of deciding if it might be wise to turn around. The waves were getting pretty big and getting pretty scary. Things were taking Taking a turn for the worst. When the radiator hoses in the engine blew, he says the boat was overheating, nearing a total loss of power. Then the cab started smoking inside while I was fighting these big waves that were coming upon me. Then I could hear the engine about to bog out, and then it shut off on me. As the inside of the boat started filling up with smoke, he'd poke his head out for air, where he'd have the idea to drop an anchor. Heading to the back of the boat to find it, he'd realize that his dog Chopper had fallen out, and he'd go in after him. A bigger wave, even bigger wave came and hit me and just knocked me in. And now I'm in, in there swimming for my life. <laughs> so. Miraculously, he would be able to grab onto the boat and ride it ashore, where you see it stuck now and where he'd quickly realize he was freezing. I was, felt like I was going to shock, so I tried to get inside, get my clothes off as fast as I could. <laughs> in the panic and looking around, he says he was met with open arms, finding a community witnessing his troubles at sea, eager to step up and help. From, with the power of love from God, these people just were here, man, like already waiting for me. I just couldn't believe it. He says an ambulance was on standby, ready to come to his aid, and he watched as someone rescued his dog, all the while others were picking up things that had fallen out of his boat. It turned a, a, a bad situation into to a good one, you know? History's being made. <laughs> To me, anyway, the love from people just pouring out, man, like, it's just overwhelming. He says the community is trying to help him get back into the water, where the tides have been close, but not close enough to get his boat back in. In the meantime, he says he's unable to leave the boat, or it could be considered abandoned. So he's hanging out with his newfound friends and counting his blessings. Nobody's hurt. Dog's alive. You know, it's just... You know, it's literally a miracle, man. If the tides won't do it, he says someone brought up the idea of getting a crane involved, which he believes to be optimistic about. Reporting live from Long Beach, I'm Jeffrey Lindblom for Fox 12 Oregon.